Defense. Homeland Security wants to test special sensors designed to detect a chemical or a biological attack. Karen Anderson, live in Cambridge tonight. Karen, officials insist the bacteria is not dangerous. That's right. They tell us that it is a bacteria that's been used in food supplements. Now, this is a first of its kind real world test and it will happen right here this summer. And it's designed to find out how quickly we can respond to a biological terror attack on the tea. Harvard Square Tea Stop, one of three MBTA stations where the federal government wants to launch its first of its kind testing to see how safe our subways are. I wonder um, which particular biological warfare they're worried about. The Department of Homeland Security has installed sensors in the MBTA system to detect biological agents, and they've been testing to see how the air moves. Now they want to release particles in the tunnels to see how well the sensors work. I wonder why they have to like test it live like this. I don't know. Can they test it somewhere else? I don't know. Not where there's actual like people around. Federal officials tell us they plan to test the subway sensors by releasing a bacteria that they say is used in food supplements. They say it's been rigorously tested and has no adverse health effects for low exposure with healthy people. Is there any risk for us? You know, they say for healthy people, what if who's, who are the majority of the riders on the subway too? So I'm I'm so so. I'm not too too worried about the test because they have really rigorous uh, hoops they have to jump through. I'm sure, and I I think I would trust those hoops personally. Now, federal officials tell me that they plan to release this bacteria during off-peak hours, probably overnight. Now, they are inviting the public to give input. This is required by law. They've also set up a hearing so that people can come and ask questions and voice their opinions. That will be here in Cambridge on May 16th. And for more information on all of this, you can log on to our website, cbsboston.com. Live in Cambridge, Karen Anderson, WBZ News, Lisa, back to you. All right, Karen, thank you.